So here I'm going to show the wet area in the e-box of this uh, BMW E38. So here on top of the hood we have the air intake for the interior ventilation and it also takes rainwater. This rainwater is going to this hole and there's another pipe here but that's going to the engine uh, bay. This hole is dripping, is releasing water on top of the e-box and ja, yeah, of course normally there is this black lid on top but it's still it's getting wet it's always soaked I'm, I'm touching here the fabric and you see it's just all wet here it's molded it's wet it's it's holding dirt behind this and it's it's all retaining water you can see this seal this seal I'm going to glue it tightly it's it's soaked with water and you see here residue this corner here residue of, of water and on the bottom is water and there's also a yeah a hose I think it can act like a drain but I cannot imagine that it's designed to be a throughput for water. So yeah, let's say what, what for computers we have here. We have here on the right of the box is the IML, Elektronische Motorleistung Steuergerät. It's yeah, mainly for the air intake valves. So that's, that's the one computer. So it's on the right here. Then we have two of these computers, DMA, Digital Motor Electronics is for the ignition and the, and the fuel injectors mainly. It's all in this container, so you have two, one for each bank of six uh, cylinders in this case. And then there is a third computer, of a fourth computer for the automatic transmission so and since water is entering to this through this uh, seal it's coming first in the model that's uh, against this wall of the e-box so this wall is the most sensitive for water and one e uh, DME was not functioning anymore and I tested it with this, uh, with this scanner and I just couldn't find one of the DMEs so and then I reversed them and then the other one was not found so and then to confirm I pulled the, the power plug it's the most right one so if you this is the most right this is the power plug plug and when i pulled it it made no difference so I, I really was sure that one dme was defective so and this is the dme one when this one is defective you get the temperature gauge going into the red dme one and the second one is here that's the dme two when this one goes defective your temperature gauge will stay in the blue when the motor is cold. So here is the other DME. Now it's oriented like this, so with the connectors down, and water was held here at the bottom here was the water and when you open it up so
so so this was all wet what I did this was all wet and it was near the crystal oscillator oh yeah it's just uh, it's just a crystal oscillator is on the processor and there was a little retainer below and you can see I removed the retainer the retainer can only hold water and then the capacitance will change and it could stop the clock and when the clock stops the whole board and the whole processor nothing will work so I removed the container, the container is only to hold the crystal in place uh, when going to the uh, wave solder to the, to, uh, through the solder bath so I show you the clip So this is the clip and it was tightly it was tightly below the the crystal so and I removed it and right away it started working so my problem was my car was running in uh, just on, on six cylinders my automatic was showing a Getriebe node program. It was showing no gear, so the D and the P and just no letter was was highlighted to show the, the gear you're in. So I was only yeah, I was stuck stuck in fourth gear. So and this was for two weeks long. Just I tried ten times uh, to start it in yeah uh, in about two weeks started it ten times and ten times I got uh, this fail message getriebe node uh, motor node program and my hand scanner was showing DME1 uh, yeah communication failure so uh, no communication possible so ten times in a row it didn't start well it, it just ran on six cylinders and I removed the retainer below the crystal and yeah I since then I, I put the contact on uh, the, I turned the ignition on 10 times and just uh, no no fault messages my gear was showing my P was showing my D was showing just uh, and my hand scanner was showing uh, two DMEs again so yeah I'm not saying that this is solving all the problems, but yeah, it uh, it didn't work before, and now it works uh, every time again. So I have good hope that it will work as long as it keeps dry.